As a person that has been using MongoDB for a while, I've always wondered how to dump and restore everything in Mongo database, including the, all the data and the indexes and validations and everything else. In this video, we'll see how to do that. medium guy here and in this video we'll see how to deploy mongodb in docker and later we'll see how to dump everything and restore it in another mongodb server so stick with me let's get down to work so first of all i have a docker compose file that i'll explain by using that we'll create a mongodb server in docker and we'll create some collections and store some data and make some indexes and we'll just simply uh, dump everything in it and uh, restore it in another mongodb instance so if i cat my docker compose file we'll see that i have only one service which is using the mongo latest official image and it has some environment variables, which is the root username and password. And I have just mounted some volumes for persisting the data. And at the end, I've just uh, exposed the default port so that I can access the server with something like Mongo Compass. So all I need to do is that I'll, I'll just say Docker compose up for me because I had just uh, the image downloaded in my system it just uh, didn't need to download anything so it just uh, took some seconds for you it might be a little bit longer for the first time so by using mongo compass I can uh, access my mongodb server which is running in a docker container so uh, I'll just need to uh, pass my username and password which is root example so uh, here I can uh, successfully connect to my mongodb server and just by clicking create the database I'll create a test database with a test collection in it I'll hit create and I just have the test database and test collection in it. So I'll just create some data in it, which is going to have an ID in it. I'll just pass some other fields like name, which is test and everything else you can easily pass over here. Like for example, number, one two three i'll hit insert and here i have a document in inside my collection so for example this is some data in a random collection and i'll create some indexes so i'll go ahead and choose a name which i'll pass the name i'll index my number field and i'll select its type and hit create so it'll create my index so here i have successfully created an index so next thing i need to do is i'll just uh, hit ctrl z for stopping docker compose logs so next thing i'll try to create another instance of mongodb server so i'll create another directory call mongo2 and i'll copy the docker compose file to mongo2 directory so if i go to mongo2 directory i'll see that i have the copy of the docker compose file so i'll nano the docker compose file you can use any another editor as you like 
so i'll just change the service name and the port that is going to be mapped to my hosts so if i say docker compose up in this directory it'll try to create another instance of mongodb docker container so things are ready i'll try to connect to a newly created mongodb server so i'll pass port 18 instead of 17 and i'll just try to pass my username and password and i'll hit connect so i have connected successfully so i've documented the uh, mongodb dump and restore help in a file which i'll just cat in a second so uh, if our mongodb server doesn't have any authentication we just can execute this line and without passing any username and password and we just can export the data inside the mongodb server into a file called db.dom but if we have an authentication so we'll just need to pass the username and password uh, we will just go and uh, use the second line so i'll copy the second line and i'll paste in my terminal and i'll change the default values so for mongodb container i'll say mongo test one so it'll just run the mongo dump dash dash authentication database which is admin and user is root in my case and password is example and the database that i want to uh, make the dump file is named the test database and the uh, result of this command will be passed to the db.dump file so if i hit enter i'll see that everything has worked fine and the dump has been successfully finished so if i hit, say ls i'll see that a file called db.dump has been created i'll just try to move the file inside the second mongo instance directory so i'll cd into the mongo2 directory i'll hit ls here is my file and my docker compose file and the db data which is the directory that has been mounted inside the container so as i see uh, in my second instance which is running in port 27080 there is no database except the default databases and as a result there is no index as well so the thing i'll try to do is uh, again uh, for mongo restore uh, if we don't have any uh, authentication we just can execute this line and restore our data from the dump file that we just created but for me because i have a username and password i'll just go ahead and copy the second line and paste it in my terminal so uh, i'll just again need to uh, change the default values i'll change the container name to mongo2 and it'll just go ahead and run the mongo restore dash dash authentication database which is admin dash user will be the root user and dash password which in my case is example dash dash db which is test which will uh, get its data from the file db.dump so if i hit enter 
I'll see that uh, everything has been uh, successfully restored and it just finished restoring the test database which had the uh, test collection and some data in it and some indexes so uh, our work here is finished i'll just go to the mongo compass for the second mongodb server and i'll hit the refresh button i'll see that the test database has been created and there is a test collection inside it and i see that my data has been restored successfully and if i go and check my indexes also i'll see the uh, second index that i created in the first instance so i hope you learned something new in this video and i hope to see you in the next videos thanks for watching please do subscribe and hit the like button and if you have any questions i'll be happy to see in the comments down below so see you in the next video